Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, my, my plans, my plans have already changed for my inaugural sailing next month on the Sun Princess. Already changed. So first off, I've got some stuff here. <laughs> we got a few stories I want to cover. Uh, let's cover with one with the World Cruise going on with MSC Cruises right now. Um, they just launched in January their World Cruise and they announced recently that they have to cut out a seven day segment, the sailing of the Red Sea, which is where all the turmoil is going on right now. And uh, they said, you know, quite frankly, you know, the, the, the reason they have to do is for safety of the passengers because of recent activity in the area with drone strikes against shipping and missile attacks. I think that's a pretty good reason to avoid an area. I, I really do. I really think that's a good area. But I saw some comments <laughs> when MSC brought this out stating that, come on, you're overblowing the situation. They really aren't going to target a cruise ship because that would be bad news for them. It would give them a bad reputation. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> That has got to be one of the most idiotic statements I've ever heard in my life. Somebody who lives in La La Land, I guess. Uh, yeah, they would definitely target a cruise ship if they could because it would make headline news and it would send an, uh, a drastic message safer to the United States is who they want to send the message to a, a lot of times. So yeah, no, no. Uh, dumb comment after dumb comment after dumb comment. It, 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 when I saw that, I just, oh my God, oh my God. You know how they say, you know, no comment or question is, is too dumb? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's skip on to another one. Also, Carnival Cruise Line has had to come out and do some, you know, clarification of two things. One, let's talk about their current drug policy. We know you're not allowed to bring cannabis on board and stuff like that. However, some people were confused thinking that they are also not allowed to bring their pills, you know, your prescription medication that you have in one of those like week long planners, you know, those little containers that you have that you can divide Sunday to Saturday and you know what pills to take on what day. You absolutely can do that. Um, they aren't going to usually confiscate anything like that unless it's a drug sniffing dog that did it or it's illegal pills that are in there like some kind of a cannabis jelly bean or whatever. But normally that's just not going to be a, a thing. Uh, you can take a picture of your prescription bottle if you're not actually taking your prescription bottle with you as uh, extra precaution, but normally that's not a bad situation. You're gonna be fine. Also, they've also come out as people were complaining about, you know, people being rude to people in scooters. People who say, for instance, are waiting for the elevator and they're just, they're, they're in their scooter patiently off to the side a little bit so that people in the elevator can get off and then they would drive on. Well, people, you know, some people are rude and just uh, wait for that moment when they can just rush past them and get into the elevator first. And sometimes because the scooter takes up so much room, it takes a lot longer to go up and down the elevators. And then other people were saying, well, yeah, but you know, the scooter people can be rude too, right? They can barge in on people. They, you know, I've had scooters run over my feet or bump into me when I'm standing in line waiting for something. And yeah, let's face it, things happen, right? And 
not everybody is going to follow the rules and people are going to be jerks sometimes. Look at the, you know, it doesn't, you don't need to be in a scooter. You don't need to be waiting for an elevator. L look at the people that I was talking about when I was getting off my nor last Norwegian cruise, where there's this huge line of about 200 people waiting to go on to disembark the cruise ship. They've been in line for a half hour to an hour waiting to get off. People come off the elevator and they're told, please go to the end of the line. And they just go, and push their way into the line, bypassing the other 200 people. And even when they're called out and said that, oh, just mind your business. We're just trying to get off. Yeah, well, so is all 200 people. People can be jerks, right? And elevators are a bad thing. Now, some people suggest that, hey, you should have somebody at the elevator uh, for scooters, right? To, well, <laughs> you would have to, for instance, on a, princess ship let's say there's there's basically four decks that you can get on and off that would be busy from dining areas to show areas to shopping areas etc that you would now have to have one person at each bank of elevators on each floor doing that include and then you add, add on the top decks the pool deck and, and things like that you would have to have somebody there as well that's a lot of manpower they just couldn't do it and the, even john hill comes out on carnival and says you know what maybe people just need to be nicer to each other and i totally agree right i will hold that elevator for people and let them on i usually wait till it's next to nobody going on and uh, if i'm only going you know one or two flights of stairs i usually take Take the stairs I don't mean everyone has to do that or care but I just do it to save time I don't do it because I feel it's the right thing to do I do it because hey it's only a flight of stairs I can get up there and don't have to stand in line for the elevator sometimes that's why I like to book a cabin that say if I know the shows are on deck seven I'll book a cabin on deck nine that way I know I only have to go two floors when I come out of the show and I don't have that big lineup of people that pour out of the the theater all at the same time with me and they all are in front of me because I sit in the front row <laughs> so everybody in the theater gets off before me so yeah John Hill has the right idea you should just you should just maybe just be nicer to each other now let's talk about my son princess cruise I was talking with Tony yesterday and he says hey it looks like our Santorini uh, port is canceled and I said yep <laughs> I, I, I didn't know that. Sorry, Tony. Um, uh, what happens is the gondola that, that's there. So first off, everybody in Santorini, all the cruise ships, there's no dock. So you are tendering in. And they have some bigger boats to take you, not just the tenders. They have some larger carriers there so that fit a lot more people in it. And so you head off to the shore, and when you get to the shore, you either head onto the buses, which are waiting down below for you, to head off on your excursion, or if you're heading up into town, you usually take this gondola that will take you up and down, and it, it saves you the walk. And the walk can be substantial. That winding path going up, you know, uh, you can take the donkeys on the way up if you wish or you can walk it up yourself. Now remember, it's usually hot in Santorini and walking up those stairs can be very hazardous to your health if you're not in really good shape. And I climbed the Norwegian fjords up into the top mountains to go see a waterfalls. Long, long, long walk. Well, the steps in Santorini are just as bad. And so if you're any kind of mobility issues, you're not doing it. If you have, you know, if you're an older person, chances are you're not going to do it. If anything, maybe walk down the stairs to get back to the ship would be a better idea. So, uh, but yeah, but everyone wants to go up to Santorini for that picture, right? You want that picture overlooking the ocean, maybe with the cruise ship down below, be below you. And it's a very beautiful, picturesque, high up in the mountain, crystal blue water, white buildings with the blue roofs. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a staple to anyone. That's what you think of when you think of Greece. And so it's a beautiful place, a little disappointing. Tony's never been there, so it's a little disappointing he won't get to go there. Uh, but hey, we're going to Crete. 
which is a, a pretty nice stop in itself. I don't know if I've been to the Island Creek. I'm trying to look back on my cruises and I don't see any videos or pictures from my past of being in Crete. So, hey, this could be an all new experience for me. And, or, you know what, maybe I was there two years ago. I don't know. <laughs> I have to look back at my itinerary. But yeah, we're just gonna roll with the punches. A little disappointing, but we're going to another place that's gonna be just as fun, and so yeah. The moral of the day story is there's jerks out there everywhere. Just be nice to people. You know, and uh, yeah, if if somebody tells you we're not going to go to an area because there might be a missile attack on the cruise ship, maybe you should just, yeah, let's not do it and say, ah, they wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, it's editing dawn here. I forgot to tell you why we're not going to Santorini. That gondola I talked about, instead of taking the walk or the donkeys, it's closed the day we're, we're in there. It's in for repairs. So yeah, we don't want to walk up those stairs uh, at all, <laughs> which was our plan. So that's one thing. And also a quick reminder, hey, tonight, tonight, I am on live with Tony on La Lida Loca on his channel at nine o'clock this evening. So I, I hope you'll turn in. I hope you'll join us and it uh, should be a lot of fun. We're going to be talking about everything in cruising, maybe the world cruise drama, there's not really too much drama. And uh, maybe, maybe our trip going on the brand new Sun Princess, the Icon of the Seas, all this. He just did a two day cruise, a two day cruise. I wish I was close enough to a cruise port to do a two day cruise. Anyway, enough talk, back to the video. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button until next time. Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.